can isro make money through asteroid mining if yes then how much will it cost and how much profit will it make do you think isro is underfunded excellent question this is about the indian space program and the indian space agency isro so let me give you some broad statistics in this year 2021 till date the chinese space program has made about 15 rocket launches and it's mostly been reconnaissance reconnaissance satellites which is spy satellites military satellites so their space program is very active today is the is the 6th uh, today is the 5th of june that's we are like almost halfway through the year so in about half a year they have made 15 lo- rocket launches now take spacex which is a private company they have made 16 launches of the falcon 9 and the falcon heavy rocket and they have made four experimental launches of their starship rocket so they are very active in in, in launching vehicles and also testing this new rocket the starship on the other hand isro in this year has made one launch of the pslv and that's it so india's uh, space program is kind of dormant it is it's half awake half asleep not much activity going on absolutely no new tests are happening for new technologies new rockets heavier more powerful rockets absolutely nothing so as a scientist the isro has great scientists by the way some of the best scientists in the world they have done so much with so little money so as a scientist you want to test every day right that's the nature of of uh, science and technology you cannot progress without testing new technology you have ideas you have concepts you will will create models and prototypes and then you want to test these models and prototypes to see how well or how badly they perform and then you iteratively progress and and make it better so that is the whole concept of testing not only rockets it's so it also applies to software and to all kinds of other, other technologies so why is isro not launching rockets or rockets why is it not testing new rockets because it is grossly underfunded it's as simple as that we have the talent we have the best brains in the world we have the best scientists in isro they have achieved so much but the only thing that is holding isro back is the lack of vision and lack of ambition of our political class they are not funding isro enough i mean we know that isro sent a, sent a spacecraft to mars right a few years ago it was the mangalyaan 1 mission the budget for this mission was was less than the budget for the hollywood movie gravity so this mission succeeded in sending a spacecraft to another planet in the first attempt successfully on less money it takes to make a hollywood movie i mean that's the kind of funding or lack of it that isro receives and yet it does so well so yes isro is grossly underfunded uh, about making money through asteroid mining we we have to first reach the asteroids and then we will be able to mine the asteroids right we don't have even have a space program a, um, a manned space program yet the gaganyaan mission was supposed to launch in 21 22 i think it has been delayed because of the current situation which we are aware of so it has been pushed back if i am uh, if i am uh, correctly informed so we need to first have a, ma- a, ma- a manned space program we need to be able to launch human beings into low earth orbit and then we need to be able to progress beyond low earth orbit up to the moon for example and only then we can we think about going further so the asteroid belt is between mars and jupiter so we have to first be uh, able to reach mars and only then can we go further ahead from mars so it's a long road we haven't even taken the first step yet in in even putting human beings into low earth orbit so we have a long road ahead of us uh, as far as isro is concerned i sincerely hope that the indian government will invest in space exploration and india's indigenous space program because that is what holds the key to the future of india to a great extent because the two or three countries that are going to lead the world in space exploration in the 21st centuries are the two or three countries who will decide the fate of the entire planet that's how simple it is so india has to take the lead right now india is doing nothing which is disappointing but i hope that there will be a change soon 